Hey guys, welcome to Anna Loves Makeup. Today I'm gonna to be doing a pre-fall makeup look for you guys. I am so excited that fall is just around the corner. I think it's like September 23rd if I'm not mistaken. So I'm really excited to see that day come. I love like all the fall decor, all the fall coffee drinks. I love the colors of fall. I just love everything about fall. It's just one of my favorite times of the year. So yeah, so I'm really excited to do this for you guys. I am gonna be using all drugstore products. All of these products are products that I've used in the past and I try to use products that you can actually purchase now if you were interested. So if you guys wanna see how I get into this pre-fall look, then just keep watching. guys let's go ahead and get started I am going to start with primer I'm using this hard candy sheer envy hydrating primer it's a 12 hour makeup grip primer that plumps moisturizes and perfects this is what it actually looks like I really do love this primer guys I honestly think it's comparable to the milk makeup primer um, I don't think I'll be buying the milk makeup primer anymore because this primer works just like the milk makeup primer so I am going to put this all over the perimeter of my face. It goes on really easily and then after a while it gets like this really tacky feeling to it and that helps the foundation actually adhere to the skin. So yeah, I really think this is a complete dupe for the Milk Makeup Primer. So if you guys ever go into Walmart, get yourself one of these hard candy um, primers because I think you guys will like it and it's very affordable too. I am using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. I have used this in the past before, I've loved it. I went ahead and bought another tube, so I'm really excited to use it again. This is a really good eye primer. Now it comes off like it has color to it, but once you blend it on the eyelid, you can't tell that it has any color. It's very sheer. So we're just gonna put that all over the eyelid. I'm gonna use my Undone Powder in Light to set that. So for today, I'm gonna to go in with the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette. I have used this on my channel before. I did a video actually using this palette along with some other products. And I really do love the shades in this palette. I think this is like the perfect palette for fall. Um, it has a lot of like orange tones. It has some green tones in there. So I really do love this. I know it's available at Target and at Ulta. So if you guys like what you see today, you might wanna go and check out this palette. All right, so we're gonna go in with the Morphe M573. We're gonna go into this shade right here. It's a little darker than a peach shade, but it is a good transition shade. We're gonna put that on the eye in the crease and a little bit above the crease. I like to go above the crease because it kind of widens up my eye because I don't have a lot of lid to play with. So that's why I stay in the crease and above the crease. Like I said, the shadow palette is perfect for the fall. I recently saw it at Ulta as one of the new NYX palettes, but I think it's been out for a little while because I've had this palette for a little bit. So we're gonna go into this shade now and we're gonna use a MAC 217 and we're gonna put that a little more defined in the crease. So like I said, guys, my favorite season is fall. I just feel like it's I just feel like it's a time where the weather changes. It's not so hot. It's still a little warm because we're in Texas, but it's not so hot. And I like it because it's a preseason for winter, which I love winter as well. I love wearing like sweaters and like boots and like really cute like jackets. So I do love when it gets cold here in Texas. But yeah, I'm excited about it. I've already had my friend Julie actually bought me my first pumpkin what was it the pumpkin cream latte at starbucks and that drink is insanely good guys it is so yummy and it's not like too pumpkin-y if you don't like pumpkin i would still try this because it is so good it has like nutmeg and cinnamon and other little flavors in there that remind me kind of a thanksgiving and pumpkin pie but it's really, really good. It's so tasty. The one I actually got was iced. You can actually get the hot pumpkin spice latte, but I wanted to get the ice that day because it was very hot outside. So she got me the iced and 
I tried it and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so good. And I've actually attempted to make it here at home. I think I'm missing a certain spice though, but I came really close to it. I made it the other day for me and my daughter and it was really, really good. I want to go into this gray shade right here. I'm going to use the Morphe M305. So yeah, I have tried the pumpkin cold cream latte. And then the other day, Julie and I tried the, um, what was it? It was a chai tea latte with one pump of pumpkin and one pump of chai. The, uh, I guess the, it's the chai syrup. So we tried that and we added almond milk instead of regular milk and it was so good. I'm talking super, super good. Even though it was chai, it wasn't too sweet and it wasn't too spicy, it was really, really good. I'm gonna try the MAC 217 with a little bit of that product because I wanna kinda blend it out a little bit better. I don't think that little bitty brush is blending it out. It's depositing the product on nicely, but I want it to be a little bit more blended out. Yeah, so if you guys aren't into coffee, you might wanna try that chai tea drink. It was good. Another thing I love about fall is that the Honeycrisp apples are in season and they are like some of the sweetest, crunchiest apples I've ever had. They have like that really nice crunch to them, you know? Basically what I did guys is I put a little bit right here on the edge and I'm just kind of pressing it and blending it at the same time just so that it'll blend in with that more orangey shade. Everything's blending in well. I love this palette, it's so good. So then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go into this shade right here and I'm using this MAC 242 brush to place that on my lid. I'm actually just pressing it down and then like dragging it towards that gray shade. I might get a little bit of fallout with this because it does have a little bit of shimmer in it. Like I said, I'm just bringing it into that gray shade. I'm not putting it on top of the gray shade. I'm just kind of blending it in with it. Yeah, I've already tried the pumpkin coffee drink, the ice one. And then I tried that chai tea pumpkin drink. And today I'm going to get a hot pumpkin spice latte. I cannot not have, if that makes any sense, a pumpkin latte. I can't, I gotta have one. So yeah, I'm going to Starbucks today. Unless I change my mind and go to Dunkin' Donuts. I think Dunkin' Donuts has a, I think they have a, um, it's a fall drink. It might be a pumpkin drink too, if I'm not mistaken. I love the Dunkin' Donuts iced coffees. Um, I don't like my coffee super sweet, so I just kind of do my own little concoction. But I really do like their iced coffee. It's really good. I like their nitro coffee too. Be careful when you try that. That's an energizer. That thing will keep you going for a few hours. And then of course with coffee, as always, you always crash. So just be careful. If you haven't tried nitro, I would go really slowly in trying it because it's super strong. All right, so that is what we got right now. I do have some fallout, so let me grab a makeup wipe and I'll be right back. Okay, I got a makeup wipe. I'm just gonna wipe under there where I see a little bit of the shimmer. It's not real bad, guys, but I just wanna make sure I don't have any fallout on my concealer and foundation. And then I'm just gonna clean this edge up a little bit. We're gonna come back to this in just a bit. We're gonna put foundation on. Um, I am going to go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the dewy version. I do have two shades here. I love this foundation when it gets colder outside because it is a dewy foundation. It does feel like it keeps my skin a little bit more hydrated and it doesn't look as dry. I have caramel and I have desert beige. So I'm going to mix these two together and then I'm going to apply them on my face and I'm going to use an e.l.f. sponge today. It's the total sponge. So I'm going to go ahead and shake these up. If you haven't seen these before, they do have like a little spatula. I never really use that. I used to use it, but today I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand because it's easier for me to mix. I'm just gonna dot it on my face. I just remembered I didn't put any poreless primer on. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the e.l.f. matte poreless primer. I'm just gonna put a little bit right here on my pores. 
or I have issues. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my sponge. It is damp and I'm just gonna press that foundation into the skin. This is my all time favorite foundation from the drugstore. I love both the regular and this one, but this one is my favorite. It has a really beautiful dewy look to it. It feels very lightweight on the skin as well. So I really do love, love this foundation. I'm not gonna put any on my ears because I just got my second hole repunctured. So I have some earrings on that I have to keep on for a week and I don't wanna put makeup on them and then they get infected. So I'm not gonna put any foundation on my ears. So my ears are gonna be a little bit lighter than my face, but that's okay because my hair is going to be down today, so it's no big deal. I am gonna go in with the only product that is not drugstore, and that's a Tarte Shape Tape, and this one's in tan. This is just solely for my melasma and any other imperfections that I may have on my face. Um, so I love this for that, because it has really good coverage, and it covers up all those little imperfections. I do want to do a video soon regarding my melasma, so if you know anyone who has melasma or struggles with melasma, I do want to do a video that talks about my melasma, about what I'm using for it, and then how I cover it up with makeup. I hope one day when the melasma goes away with all this medication that I'm putting on my face, that I'll be able to just wear a foundation without having to use this Tarte Shape Tape. So I put the Tarte Shape Tape on. Um, I do wanna go in with concealer. I'm going in with my NYX Born to Glow Concealer. This one, what is this? This is in the shade, I cannot see today, guys. It's horrible. This is in the shade Natural. I do love this concealer. I haven't used it in a while, but I do love it. I think it has good coverage and it feels really hydrating on the under eyes. So I'm going to just place that here, a little bit on my nose, forehead, chin. I just posted a video where I tried some Charlotte Tilbury um, makeup products and I forgot to blend my forehead. It was so funny when I was editing, I saw that dot there, it was like right between my brows and I was like, dang it, I forgot to blend that sucker out. Sometimes I can forget and not see what's on my face because of all the lighting that I have. So that was one of the days that I did not see that big old dot of concealer on my forehead. It was funny. I love this concealer. It's brightening, it's hydrating, has really nice coverage, looks really smooth under the eyes. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes. I'm gonna go in with this Bacon Set Brightening Pink Powder by Morphe. I have used this before on my channel and I really do like this powder to set the under eyes. I just feel like this powder really smooths the under eyes and sets the concealer really well. So love this powder for that. Yeah, see, just looks really nice and smooth. So I'm gonna set my face with this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Banana Powder. I do love this powder so much for setting my face. This is a great drugstore powder for setting the face. It just gives like that velvet matte touch to it. I don't feel like it's too mattifying. It honestly looks fairly natural, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just press it with my sponge into the skin to set that whole area. I wanna know what you guys are excited about for fall. Let me know in the comments. Some of you don't like fall. Some of you guys don't even like winter because it's too cold. I can totally understand that. My kids are more about, well, my youngest is more about the summer months. She loves summer. And then my oldest likes pretty much the summer. She pretty much likes every season. Um, but yeah, my youngest is really into like summer. So she's like totally opposite of me. I like the summer if I'm not working or I'm on vacation at a beach. So that's the only time I really like summer because I just can't, I can't deal with this Texas heat. It's horrible. Okay, I'm going in with my undone powder and light. I forgot to tell you guys. And I'm just pressing that underneath. The eyes, I love that for this area right here. In the center, I'm gonna go in with my Undone Powder in Medium. 
So yeah, guys, I'm really interested to see if you guys are excited about fall as much as I am. I love the fact that the air changes. Like I said, in Texas, it does stay a little bit warm, but when it does get cool, it's super nice. Like today I got off work and it was like 57 degrees. It was so nice. It's like perfect weather to go for a run or to go for a walk. I actually took my dog on a walk this morning and she was super happy. And I think it was because it was cooler outside, to be honest. So yeah, we did that and then came back home and I had me a nice hot coffee, which was super nice because I wasn't coming in from like sweating or anything. It was just really nice and cool outside. So I'm gonna go in with this NYX Fill It and Fluff pencil. I do like this pencil. I compared this to the Fenty pencil. I can't remember what the name of it is, but I'll put a picture right here. Um, but I compared this because the Fenty pencil has one of these little like toothbrush looking things, but they're like for eyebrows. And the one on the Fenty one didn't really grab my brows, but this one really does. It combs through my brows really nicely and it grabs those brow hairs. So I do like this one a lot better than the Fenty one. So yeah, if you guys haven't tried it, this is a good one to try. I am gonna go over just the edge of my brow I'm not going to go too harsh with this pencil because I recently tinted my brows and I used this tint that I got off of Amazon and guys, it worked really good. I have to be very careful with putting too much product on my eyebrows because they can look dark really fast. When I did the Charlotte Tilbury video, I had just dyed them. So if my eyebrows look a little bit dark in that video, that's why. Because I had just dyed them, or not dyed them, but you know, tinted them with that tint. But that tint works good, and it's cheap, and it's easy to use, and it only takes like, I want to say like one to two minutes. Actually, I kept it on two minutes, and then I took it off, and then applied it again, and put it on for two more minutes. But if you guys want to see how I tinted my brows, I did film it that day. So if you guys want to see that, I can just kind of go through it and explain how I did it while you're actually looking at the video footage. Let me know if you're interested in that. I can go ahead and edit it and post it for you guys. But yeah, it was really cool. It's a very cool product, very easy to use. So basically now what I do is just put the eyebrow pencil shade right here on the edges where the tail is. And then I go in with my Rimmel Wonderful Brow and I comb this through my eyebrows and it looks like I did my entire brow because my brows are tinted now. So I don't need much product, which is super nice and super easy. Do you see? This is with the Wonderful Brow. This one isn't. I do have to go in with the pencil right here on the edge where I have my scar. So I do have to put a little bit of product in there, but not much. All right, so let's do, let me go ahead and do the bottom lash line really quickly. I'm gonna go back into the NYX palette and I'm gonna go into that first shade that I used, which was that light peach shade. And I'm just going to run that on the bottom lash line. And then I'm gonna go back into the other shade, which was the darker brown. And run that on the bottom lash line blending it in with that peach one. And then what I want to do is go in with a little bit of that gray and just kind of bring it right up to the lash line. Just a little bit. I don't want it too heavy on there. I want to go ahead and do bronzer. I am going to go in with my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in Dulce de Leche. This is what it looks like here. I am using this e.l.f. brush. It is a very fluffy pointed brush that helps me kind of sculpt my cheekbones. I just use that to sculpt a little bit. Next I'm going to go in with my City Bronzer by Maybelline. It's in 300. And then for blush, I'm going to go in with the CoverGirl True Blend So Flushed Hot Frenzy Blush. These blushes are super, super pigmented. I felt like this was the perfect 
blush for a fall look. Look at this. Look how pigmented it is. So be careful when you use this. What I like to do is I just kind of like to pat it on the back of my hand to get some of the product off and then just kind of press it into my cheek so it doesn't come off too harsh. These are beautiful, but like I said, they're very pigmented, so you gotta go in with a light hand. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. I am gonna put lashes on today. I'm not gonna do anything too crazy. I'm gonna do that really quickly off camera, and then I'm gonna come back, and we're gonna finish off with lips. All right, guys, now we're gonna go into lipstick. I did line my lips with the Morphe Sugar Pie. This is a really beautiful pencil. It's more of a brown nude tone. So I really do love this. I love this, especially for fall. This will look good with some darker lipsticks or even a nude lipstick. So today I wanna to do just that. I wanna go ahead and put on a nude lipstick and then when I'm done showing you the nude lipstick, I wanna go ahead and put on a darker shade. So let me go ahead and apply the nude shade. It's by Revlon, it's 001 if I want to. This is a matte shade and these are really good lipsticks. This is the color right here. It's more of like a nudie peach. This lip liner goes really well with this peach tone nude. It just gives the lips a beautiful nude tone and I think it's perfect for the fall. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take this lipstick off and then I'm gonna put on a darker shade. Okay, for a darker shade, we're gonna go in with the Super Stay Matte Ink in Caramel Collector and this is by Maybelline. I love these liquid lipsticks. They're super comfortable on the lips. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. I think this lipstick goes perfectly with this look as well. It's kind of like that monochrome look, and I think this is also gonna be perfect for the fall. All right, guys, that's it for this pre-fall makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys are just as excited for fall as I am. It's not a true fall, but I still see it as fall, and I love it. I love fall. I am so ready for it, and I hope you guys are too. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button before you leave, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll know when I put out a new video. I try to put videos out on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and sometimes I do a bonus Saturday, so look out for that. Take care, be safe, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.